I'm going to texture one of the books that I've created for my Wolfenstein scene now. And here's the book. And I'll make a couple of variations uh, of this, I think. I've got uh, two materials on here, and I'm going to export this into Substance Painter now. Okay, here's my book in Substance Painter with my materials. I've got a cover, and I've got paper. All right, so the first thing to do, of course, is to bake the maps. I'm going to add an ambient occlusion channel, bake mesh maps. Um, I'm just going to do it at 1024. Use low poly as high poly, uncheck ID, and bake. All right, so we're ready to start. Let's come to the layers and work on the, the cover. And for this, I'm going to use a smart material. I'm going to search for paper. And I'm going to use this smart material that I just uh, downloaded from Substance Share. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to delete the folds. And I'm even going to get rid of the dirt spots. And so there's a, there's a little bit of discoloration and texture on there. And that's, that's fine with me. So we're going to do that for the moment. Let's come over to the paper though. And for the paper, I'm going to search for wood in regular materials, I think. And I'm going to try this, uh, let's try this wood walnut. Okay, let's come to the properties. And I'm going to change the color. And choose a color similar to the paper. Just drag that down there. Start with that. And I'm going to come over here and I am going to uh, set, uh, let's put the rotation first of all to 90. Already starting to look a little bit like paper. Let's try setting the scale to something like 0 0.18. And probably that could look okay. I can also start pulling that up. I'm playing with the value until I get something that looks uh, a little bit like paper. I'm not going to be very close to that. I'm going to go with something like that. Okay, so I've got some paper and I've got the cover. Let's come back to here. That's paper and let's do something on the top. I'm gonna add a paint layer and change this to, let's see. I think all I need is color. Or maybe, maybe color and roughness. Change that to a red kind of color. Let's try that. And just look down from the top. Let me make sure we're an orthographic. And I'll come over to my to my alphas. I'm gonna choose square. I'll get that one for my brush. a bit bigger and let's try click hold shift and control I think I may want to change that color that's the general idea of what I'm going to go for let's make it a bit more red maybe a bit bigger Something, something like that. Okay, so that's that's going to be the red strip. All right, I'm going to add another uh, paint layer, and for this one, let's use color and height. I could leave roughness on. 
doesn't really matter. I'll turn it off. For the color, let's go down to black pretty much. Height, let's lower it just a little bit. And we'll put some text. So come to alpha, so I'll search for font. I just use one of the built-in fonts here. I use this typewriter. And up here, type in uh, secret in German. So I've got that. I'll decrease the size there. Decrease the size of my brush. And I was thinking of just having that down here. Stamping that in, I thought, just with a little bit of height, it'll give a little bit of um, sort of white around the outside or the, the cover material would reflect a little bit of light. So you can have that there. Okay, so we'll do that. Let's save this so far. Let's add another paint layer. And for this one, let's just use uh, color. Let's get rid of that alpha. And for this one, I've created some text in my drawing program and I tend to use Flash. And I'm gonna bring this in as an alpha. And so I want this to be square. So I made it 600 by 600. And I've downloaded the Wolfenstein font. You can find that on the internet. And put that in my Windows fonts directory, folder, whatever. And so I've got a black background and I've got white text. And I exported this as a PNG. All right, so I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to import that. Alright, so here it is, Wolfenstein text.png. I'm going to bring that in as an alpha and I'm going to choose the project. And there it is. I'm going to select that and I'm going to get this. Actually, I think I will do height as well now that I think about it. I'll have it a little bit lower. All right. And we'll try just stamping that down there. So we get a little bit of indent. There's a slight outline. I don't know if you can see it. All right. So that would be, that would be one of my, my books right there. And then from there... I can just make some changes if I want another book. You know, put a red strip here, or put a border around it or whatever. Um, if I wanted to do a symbol, all right? So first of all, I'm gonna, going to uh, get rid of that alpha. Where are you? If I come to another layer, I do another paint layer, let's say. And for this one, let's say I do just color. So alt click color. And let's say I do red or maybe I color pick that red. All right, and I come here, circle. You know, 
I could put down a circle there and um, put something uh, inside it if I wanted to. You know, because I said I didn't want to do the uh, the Nazi symbol. Um, what could I put inside there? I, mean, I don't think anything would, would really work, but. Now let's say that's what I wanted to do. You know, I could I could do that kind of a thing. All right, and then I would export those textures. So let, let's just do that and have a look at this in uh, in Blender. Just before I do that, I'm going to change this to say Cover One. Put paper one anyhow. All right, let's export. I think I'm going to be using probably the same paper. So I'm just going to leave that for the, uh, let's go to the cover. I'll call this cover one. Okay. Shift control T. and on the paper So you can see it's it's populated because I had uh, collection instances there. So let's bring back some stuff here. doesn't look too bad uh, having it there and maybe even there as well all right and even the symbol doesn't look too too bad <laughs> I don't know uh, so these books are not going to look exactly the same so uh, instead of doing video uh, where I uh, you know go through every single thing I will go ahead on my own and I will do some textures for uh, these other books and uh, also, I don't think I want that one there. Uh, this one here. And I'll have just a document. So I'll do that uh, in the next video and potentially show you some of the other ones that I've created. Okay, so that's going to be it for now. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.